You can be <laughs> tough on The Biggest Loser. We've seen that. You have to be. You have to be. But you showed a completely different side of yourself a few seasons ago when you opened up about your sexuality on the show. What prompted you to do that on national television? Well, I never thought that I was in the closet, but I never talked about my sexuality. And we had a contestant that came on, and he had such low self-esteem. He yeah. felt really bad about himself. And uh, I thought that my story would help him. And uh, it was just uh, really trying to be helpful to him in that situation. And uh, it was a really special moment. And uh, he is doing so well now. Did you get a, a big response from that show? Overwhelming response. Really? And mostly good. You know, it was like, it felt really good. But I remember, like, that day, and we were shooting that scene. And, and all of a sudden, it was like getting to that moment where I was about to say, you know, well, I'm gay, and it's OK. And it was like that feeling of just like, wow, there's all these cameras on me right now. I'm about yeah. to, like, say this. It was a really weird feeling, uh, but it was just great. It was great for him. Yeah, and we do have the before and after of this contestant. And it's an Bobby, I think is yeah, his name. Bobby. That's amazing. And he looks, I mean, yeah. He looks, this has been uh, several seasons, and he's been really yeah. good. He's, like, kept it, well, he's so kept often with, with weight gain, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but there, it's, it's due to underlying issues. Uh, There's a re uh, nine times out of ten. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. It's not because these guys like pizza. I mean, right. it's, it's, the, uh, it's the emotional connection. It's, uh, it's what's going on inside, and they use food as medication for uh, so many times. Yeah.